The Trinity doctrine cannot be accepted by those who are loyal to the faith and to the principles that have withstood all the opposition of satanic influences. This is a contextual rendering of Sister White's letter to Dr. Kellogg, when she actually wrote patchwork theories cannot be accepted. The patchwork theories are referring to the theories Dr. Kellogg wanted to patch up his book. Sister Wright wrote to him, The book Living Temple is not to be patched up. A few changes made in it and then advertised and praised as a valuable production. The context reveals that the patch by which Dr. Kellogg wanted to fix his book was the Trinity Doctrine. We see this from the letter of Brother Daniels to Sister White's son, William White. Daniels wrote, Ever since the council close, I have felt that I should write you confidently regarding Dr. Kellogg's plans for revising and republishing the Living Temple. He said that some days before coming to the council, he had been thinking the matter over and began to see that he had made a slight mistake in expressing his views. He then stated that his former views regarding the Trinity had stood in his ways of making a clear and absolute correct statement, but that within a short time he had come to believe in the Trinity and could now see pretty clearly where all the difficulty was and believe that he could clear the matter up satisfactorily. He told me that he now believes in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, and his view was that it was God the Holy Ghost, and not God the Father that fill all space and every living thing. He said if he had believed this before writing the book, he could have expressed his views without giving the wrong impression the book now gives. This letter was dated on October 29, and this is the response of William White. Dear brother, mother and I have just read your letter of October 29 in which you speak of various plans that have been proposed for the revising and reproduction of the Living Temple. We were pleasantly surprised at the announcement that Dr. Kellogg would withdraw this book from the market and we are sorry indeed that his mind is swinging back to the plan of revising it. Mother expressed herself quite emphatically regarding this matter. She regards it as un profitable undertaking. William White testified that his mother, that is Ellen White, and he had together read the Daniel's letter about Kellogg's intention to revise and reproduce the Living Temple because of his beliefs in the Trinity Doctrine. Sister White regarded this thing as an unprofitable undertaking. This is why she wrote directly to Dr. Kellogg, the book Living Temple is not to be patched up few changes made in it and then advertised and praised as a valuable production. The theory by which Dr. Kellogg wanted to patch up his book was the Trinity Doctrine. Therefore, the patchwork theories or Trinity cannot be accepted by those who are loyal to the faith and to the principles that had withstood all opposition of satanic influences. This letter is important because it reveals how Sister White has dealt with the Trinity Doctrine. She compared it with the faith and the principles which have withstood all the opposition of satanic influences in our past history. In this letter she recalls how God gave us these principles of our faith and she recalls how they were opposed and cruelly falsified. These truths were the foundation of our faith. As people we shall stand firm on the platform that had withstood test and trial. We shall hold to the sure pillars of our faith. The principles of truth that God has revealed to us are our only foundation. They have made us what we are. The principles of truth which were the foundation of our faith were the fundamental principles. The fundamental principles was the public synopsis of Seventh-day Adventist faith at that time. This synopsis was a declaration of the truth we have received in our first experiences. Recalling this experience, Sister White said, Thus the leading points of our faith as we hold them today were firmly established. Point after point was clearly defined and all brother came into harmony. These leading points of our faith, which we held in the time of Ellen White, are no points other than fundamental principles. These were a brief statement of what is and has been with a great unanimity held 
by Seventh-day Adventists. In response to Dr. Kellogg's beliefs in the Trinity, Sister White especially highlighted a doctrine which was the reason why those who are loyal to the faith and to the fundamental principles cannot accept the Trinity. This point was the point on the personality of God. Speaking of the past experience, as she said, just such theories as you presented in the Living Temple were presented then. This subtle, deceiving sophistry has again and again sought to find place amongst us. But I had ever had the same testimony to bear which now I bear regarding the personality of God. And then she recalled the vision on the personality of God. In this letter, Sister White is teaching us a valuable lesson for us today. Instead of focusing on the Trinity doctrine, she was focusing on the truth. She was focusing on the truth on the personality of God expressed in the fundamental principles. Let us follow her example and let us study the truth she highlighted instead of focusing on other theories which she didn't even want to address them by their proper name. The personality of God, it was a pillar of our faith and that pillar should not be forgotten.